Drug-induced QT prolongation is seen with a QT interval above 0.45 milliseconds on the ECG and is usually a result of treatment by antiarrhythmic drugs, such as amiodarone and sotalol, or a number of other drugs that have been reported to cause this problem, e.g., cisapride. Some antipsychotic drugs, such as haloperidol and ziprazidone, have a prolonged QT interval as a rare side effect. Antihistamines, erythromycin, and ciprofloxacin may also cause drug-induced LQT. Genetic mutations may make one more susceptible to drug-induced LQT. It is associated with hypokalemia, hypocalcemia, and hypothermia and may lead to torsades de points. List of drugs associated with prolonging the QT interval that may or may not have FDA warnings. Antiarrhythmic agents. Type I. Quinidine. Disopyramide. Procainamide. Type 3. Sotolol. Amiodaron. Doftlide. Antibiotics. Macrolids. Erythromycin. Clarithromycin. Azithromycin. Quinolones. Levofloxacin. Moxifloxacin. Other. Bidoqualine. Delamanid. Pentamidine. Antifungals. Fluconazole. Ketoconazole. Antihistamine. Astimazole. Hydroxyzine. Mysolastine. Terfenidine. Antimalarials. Chloroquine. Halophantrin. Antiretrovirals. Lopinavir. Ritonavir. Sequinavir. Chemotherapy. Vanditanib. Diuretics. Furosemide. Gastroprokinetic. Cisapride. Opioids. Apomorphine. Methadone. Psychoactive drug. Amitriptyline. Asinopin. Cytolopram. Cocaine. Escitalopram. Flufenazine. Haloperidol, for higher risk than PO or IM. Eloperidone. Luracidone. Olanzapine. Paloperidone. Pimazide. Quishapine. Risperidone. Thioridazine. Ziprazidone. Selective estrogen receptor modulators. Tamoxifen. Toremaphine. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.